Hello, I'm Chad Hembry, and here with Randy Coffee, where we're going to be talking about the US 25 yard cell. Now, Randy, this is something that uh, uh, you helped organize, and you came and talked to us last year about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're glad to have you back. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate the opportunity to come up here and talk to you about it, Chad. Uh, the US 25 yard cell is a four year, four year old event. Uh, it's been, this will be third year it's come through Berea. And it's uh, now the nation's fourth longest yard sale, 565 miles. Uh, pretty impressive, really. We've uh, only got like one or two counties that are, are skipped in there. Uh, most of them are, well, metropolitan counties. We don't go through those, don't even attempt it. Uh, yard sales like this aren't given to being set up on four-lane highways, especially busy ones like in Fayette County. So Fayette County sets it out. But uh, virtually every other county and every other town on the 565-mile route participates. All right, so tell me where we start at. Well, if you start at the north, you would pretty much start at the Richwood Flea Market. Okay. Officially, it starts at the river, okay, where the Ohio River, and that's where 25 ends, is just across the river so in Cincinnati. Okay. Yeah. But uh, Richwood Flea Market's probably where you're going to start finding the, the first yard sales, and that's just inside Boone County, uh, coming going north, and, and it'll be your first stop coming south. And then... It'll be a pretty strong yard sale all the way to Georgetown and uh, the Kentucky Horse Park, and then you just jump on the interstate there and drive through Fayette County and back off on the other side of the Kentucky River, and you're back on the yard sale, and you'll yard sale all the way to Asheville, North Carolina's golf course. Wow. I'm telling you. And over three days? You can tell, yes, it's three days, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday event. We don't have it on Sunday. However, people can set up on Monday if they want to. They can set up two weeks early if they want to. It's a free country. However, the event is only scheduled for three days, and we do that so that we can work with governments mm -hmm. and tell them when it is. Now, if you're in an unincorporated area and there's no rules, we see a lot of people going ahead and setting up early. They usually sell out, and then they go yard sale and buying up more stuff. Buying up more yeah. stuff. <laughs> yeah. And you'll find families do that, too. Like the wife will go the first day shopping, and the husband will stay with the stuff, and then they'll swap around. They'll even get the kids involved. And this is this is a big deal anymore. It is. And these, these are becoming more popular all the time. Kentucky has six of the top 21 yard sales in the nation that run through or part of through completely or parts of Kentucky. That's pretty amazing. It is pretty amazing that these are becoming, you know, that they're catching on like this. Well, what got me is that how many people participate in it. What's in, what I can't get over is how folks have kind of fell in line for this, okay? We don't have a whole lot of trouble selling this to folks. When they hear it's coming to town, it's like, hey, we were talking about getting this started the other day at the restaurant, about four or five of us. This is a great idea. So you, we usually don't have much trouble coming to a town and getting some help from, like, the newspaper. Because we're just four, three, actually three volunteers, one in North Carolina, one in Grant County, Kentucky, and me. And we've pretty much thrown together a pretty good deal here, really, for... For, it's, it's literally going to help thousands of people. Here's the premise of the event. We started this to bring people to our small towns off the interstate to see the beautiful communities. Now, Berea is as pretty as any of them. I've explored quite a few of those little communities. And London and Berea and Georgetown are the, the three prettiest towns. Richmond's downtown looks good, too, anymore. But they're getting it all pulled together, and 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 it, it it's 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 surprising that that uh, the the amount of uh, feedback that we get after it's over with, we didn't realize how pretty those towns were because they drive right by them every day, you know, on the interstate, and the, the goal is to get them off that interstate, and maybe they'll spend the night or eat at a mo eat in a restaurant or you know whatever. Well, no, and so, uh, yard sales are social events. They really are. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a so, it's a whole social Well, it's social a haggling. Event. You know, yeah. you haggle back and forth. Uh, you'll see people that you know from the diff from another town, mm -hmm. you know, um, that we have a lot of people that come in from Ohio, Indiana, and stuff like that, retired folk, that just want to drive the old road and just see what it looks like. And, and we met a lot of people the first and second year that did that. Now, one thing that, that a lot of people, if you're going to sell this year and you sold last year, I want to tell you something. 
you may have sold a lot of stuff last year, and if you didn't go buy stuff back, you're not going to make as much money. So we, we had that last year. A lot of people saying, hey, I didn't make as much money. And the first questions I asked them was like, did you, did you have this big of stuff to sell this year? Well, no, I didn't have the chainsaws and the shotguns and, you know, the weed eaters. You sold eaters. it all the first year. I sold it all the first year. I yeah. said, did you go buy any more? No, we didn't. I said, well, there you go. If you're selling sweaters and tennis shoes, you're not going to make as much money. That's correct. But it's it's a fun thing, you know. And the main thing is, is like I said, the premise is to get them to come to town. It, now, if you want to participate in the yard sale, of course, you'll need a yard sale permit. In Berea. In Berea. In Berea. Or now, Richmond. Now, this is going to go all over the war, uh, the, the nation. So, or, some of you... Some look, of you need to check your local laws because everywhere you're at, most places are going to require some kind of permit. The, actually, there are some towns on this route that the only day that the people can have a yard sale is during this event. Well, there you go. <laughs> okay, so I, I know that there's at least one one or two towns in Tennessee that are like that. Uh, they, we had a couple of places that we had to get waive the you can't rent it out, I can't rent it out to you rule, okay? okay. I, like if I live on 25, I can't let you come down there and rent out a spot. So they waive that rule in Anderson County, Tennessee. And there may be more places that change rules like that that we're unaware of. But we do know that there have been place, places that actually had to, you know, change ordinances and stuff. Berea had to do that. We, we changed we, it to so you could have it three days. Right. right. We, yeah. Yeah. Berea gave us three days. They gave us an, actually two extra yard sales, and they lowered the permit price. So they yep. took care of us all the way around there. I was thrilled to death at that. You know, being a yard sailor myself, I usually have one a year. Now, I will not be participating because I'll be riding around evaluating, making sure of what we got, looking to see if we've got signs up in places that should be up. And the way this works, folks, is each community is responsible for their own deal, okay? We, don't, we can't organize a yard sale in Claiborne County, Tennessee. It's impossible. I'm not even going to go down there and make the trip. All I need to do is make the phone call, the date, and tell them what it is, and it pretty much is on them to do the rest of it. However, this ain't brain surgery, and, you know, it's just a yard sale. So, you know, if you're on a bypass, and 25E is a bypass situation most of the way, all the way from Corbin to Newport, Tennessee, it's going to be four lanes about all the way. So uh, that could be an issue about seeing one over there and trying to get to it because it's going to be on the other side of the road. I don't know, you know, you're just going to have to do the best you can. Maybe shop all the way to the tunnels and turn around and come back. I don't expect it to be bumper to bumper and door to door um, except in maybe Rockcastle County. <laughs> yeah, in Rockcastle County, Laurel County, they'll be strong. The strongest area should be north of Corbin. And the reason being the road forks at Corbin. So when it comes back together north of Corbin, that's where everybody's, all three roads come together, 25, 25E, and 25W. So between between Mount Vernon and, and Corbin, should be a, it should be hopping. A hot spot, okay. It should be hopping. Well, you've heard it all here from Randy Coffey, who's been working with the US 25 yard sale. Please get out and participate in it. Go ahead and tell them the dates again. It's June 4th, 5th, and 6th. And let me give you a phone number for contact. Uh, if you're in Kentucky, you contact me in Southern Kentucky. It's 859-779-3005. Uh, um, if you're in Northern Kentucky, Judy's number is 859-824-6641. Uh, and then in tennis in uh, North Carolina, the folks down there, 828-319-8161 is Pamela Briggs, and she's our organizer down there. I'm impressed. Cell phones have ruined us from knowing cell phone numbers and our numbers and phone numbers. I have to know those. I have typed those so many times because <laughs> we have to change all the little documents and stuff. But we also, if anybody out there is watching this and you've helped us with advertising, if you've promoted it, uh, if uh, we want to send Brandy Wines Creek Steakhouse in Newport, Tennessee, has helped us immensely. If it wasn't for them, we'd have a great big hole right there. That's the one business that's really stepped up for us. So good, good. That's that, that's that's one place that uh, when we get our website, then we'll have to give them a little good, uh, an extra good spot. Show them some love. Show them some love. All right. <laughs> We're going to show you some love on this yard sale here too, uh, folks. It's at uh, go Google. It's the best way to find it. US twenty five yard sale Facebook. We've got 10,000 friends. Make sure you get us. 
Uh, there's a couple counties that have sites, and uh, they'll be a lot smaller. But we got 10,000 Facebook friends and growing. 10,000. 10,000. And uh, it's just, it's incredible. We had a DJ in the, uh, southeastern Kentucky that had a big bunch of contacts, and uh, he's well liked. And that guy put uh, Pineville and Middlesboro, but he, he got them built up. They're ready to go. One guy. And that's, that's, that's what's amazing about this is that it was one person's idea. Three people acted on it. They used three cell phones, three computers, and we got a 565-mile yard sale. So it's, it's, I think it's pretty incredible, really. It's been a lot of fun. Well, congratulations. Thank and, you. And we look forward to it. Thanks for being on here. Uh-huh.